If Michael Schumacher was the greatest racing driver that ever lived, then I didn't do too badly against him. But we didn't know at the time. We didn't know at the, the, the beginning of his career. In fact, Ayrton didn't know. Nobody knew quite where this guy was going to end up. Michael was the utmost professional of his era. He was a pretty misunderstood character. And I don't know if in his own mind he quite enjoyed the, the sort of uh, impression that he created because he was quite an intimidating character in many ways. But if you knew him personally, he was quite the opposite. Very engaging, very personal. So many times I introduced him to people who before they met him thought he was um, you know, a despicable, horrible character. And you introduced them and once they got to know him, they completely changed. I had that happen so many times. There was Michael, the racing driver, out on the track and there was Michael the human being away from the track and I think one of the things that you'll find is I don't know of anyone who worked with Michael who had a bad word to say against him who worked with him lots of people who raced against him had a different opinion but nobody I know who ever worked with Michael ever had a bad opinion about him because of his integrity his commitment his human side and he was always a very strong team member of any, any team he was part of. I have to say that I did make some comments this year that about, about Damon that I didn't have that kind of respect that I maybe had about somebody else. But I have to admit that I was wrong because what he has done in the last two races in particular and he must have done even before, has been a proper and fantastic job. And he has been a great rival. For me, it was always clear that I'm not going to win the championship and it's Ayrton who is going to win the championship. But he hasn't been there for the last races. And I'd like to take this championship and give it to him because he is the driver who should have earned it. He had the best car, he was the best driver. And, uh, that's my feelings about him. It was difficult at the time to, to show my feelings because I'm not somebody who likes to show the feelings to, out, to the outside. But uh, I always thought about it and it's, it's the right time now to, to give something which I, which I achieved, which he should have achieved, uh, to give it to him. I don't care what anyone says, he, he raised the bar. He was a naturally athletic person, but he took, he took that side of things to a new level. And the devotion to being part of the team was at a different level than anything I'd ever seen before. You know, he would be the last one out of the paddock at night. You know, he would always want to be the one testing the car. You know, I can remember Marinello days, I'd ring him up and say, Michael, you know, we've got something we really want to check out tomorrow. He said, what time do you want me there? There was never a doubt. He was totally devoted to it, and it's a tragedy what's happened, but he's a lovely human being. I mean, the work he did away from motor racing, which he always kept quiet about, and he's a lovely guy.